Are you new to homeschooling and you're looking for a math program for your kindergartner? Well, today we're gonna to do a lesson on the Good and the Beautiful's Math K course book. Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and today my four-year-old and I are gonna do a lesson at the Good and the Beautiful's Math K course book. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on homeschooling, day in the life, and curriculum reviews. So make sure you subscribe or check out my playlist for more. The first thing we're gonna do is gather everything that we need for our first lesson, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. For today's lesson, we need course book part one. We're doing lesson number three. So for our daily dose, we need our calendar. We need our place value chart. We need our shape shuffle cards. We need our handwriting card. And for our bonus independent activity, we need our blocks. Hey, Carolyn, you finally get to use the blocks. Blocks? Wait, we're gonna do our calendar. Can you grab the calendar? Calendar is right here. So today we're gonna do our calendar. We are in April. Yes. April is a rainbow month of sudden springtime showers, bright with golden daffodils and lots of pretty flowers. So we just had a weekend, Ireland. Okay. We didn't. We didn't do. We didn't check off this day because we didn't do math. And then this day and this day we didn't have school because we had a weekend. So before we start, let, can you sing the days of the week song? Yes. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days Very of the week. good. So we had, look, we had a weekend. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week. Days Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, we didn't have school, so we're gonna need to put a check here, here, and here. Today is Monday, April 13th. Alan, look, so we're going to mark off the 10th, the 11th, and the 12th, and today is April 13th. So, Mommy's going to go write that on the board for you and show you how we write a date, okay? This is how you write the month of April. A P R I L, and then the, what's the number of today? Uh, uh, what is it? 13. We put a comma and then we put the year, which is 2020. So every day, do you remember which number we have to change? When it goes to 13, no, then 13, 14, 14, we have to change 13, this number, right? 15. So the good and the beautiful has the months of the year song, but we already learned the months of the year our own way, so I don't want to confuse her. So we're gonna sing it that way. Can you sing the months of the year first for us? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Twelve months in a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Do you remember how to do it in Spanish? Enero. Febrero. Marzo. Abril. Mayo. Junio. Julio. Agosto. Septiembre. Oh. oh wait, this is when I can do it. Octubre, noviembre, diciembre, doses meses en un año. Very good. <laughs> okay, we also need our B manipulatives. Avalyn, take out five B manipulatives. Take out five buzzy bees. Bees, bees, five. Bees, bees, come, and bees, bees, five. Zoom. Okay. They just came, because they flew. They flew here? Mm-hmm. Actually, right. no, I magic them here. You magic them here? Oh, my gosh. So we have five bees here, right? Mm -hmm. So five little bees in a hive. One, two, Learning three, how four, to fly. Five. The first bee hops. The, 
The second B flies. The second B slides. slides. The third goes up, up but then she, she dives. dives. The fourth B wiggles. wiggles. She's almost mm -hmm. there. The fifth B's okay. up. up. Five. Then. Oh, she's in the air. Here. So, which is the first B in the hive? Hmm. Good. Which is the third B? Count them. Which one? One. You can't pick all of them. Which Two. is the third B? Third B. Good. Which is the fifth B? Good. Which is the second B? Second it means two, yes. Which is the fourth B? Pick one. Okay, very good, very good. Nom, nom, nom. So then, Avalyn, can you put these cards in order for me? Can you line them up? Yep. Put them in order. Mom, first you have to put it the wrong way like you did last time. Oh, okay. So you put the four at the starting, the two at the and then you put all right, put, put them in order. You did one right. <coughs> no, the first number starts on this side. Good. Good. Very good. Excellent job. We are going to take these bees and we're going to put as many bees as the number says. So how many bees go above this one? Very yeah, good. Six. Now, great job. So yeah. now, now we're going to clean this up and you're going to practice your handwriting. All right, trace your numbers please, one through five. Okay. I did this before and it was really fun. Good. I'm glad you liked it. So this is what you do. Open the purple marker, put it on the side. Carefully have no noise and just straightly do the line for the one. For the two, just you have to start at the stars. You just for the two you just do that. Very good. Two yeah, but yeah. Could you get the magic eraser. So another thing we have to do with our daily dose is we are reviewing all of these shapes. She just learned this one, the pentagon. So I shuffle them up. I lay the cards out and then Avalyn gets to pick a random card. Without looking through them, pick a card. Pick one, quick. Okay, flip it. A, what shape is that? A circle. Okay, so now we go to our shape shuffle. And she has to color in the circle. So we have one circle and two pentagons. We're going to see how many shapes we get the most of by the time we're done. So go ahead and color in this circle. You have to. So we've already done the calendar and the daily dose. Oh, we didn't do the place value chart. So let's do that. Grab your place value chart and a marker. Because I like these two color smells. Don't you like these two color smells? I sure do. Lay it down. Okay, so. That way. We've done one, two days of school. Now we need to color one more and we keep it in the ones place. Why not? We can't put it in the twos place because we did This two. is tens place. So one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten. When it's all colored, we move it into the tens place. Okay. Then what? What is this place? When we get ten tens, we move it into the hundreds place because ten tens is a hundred. If you do ten plus ten ten times, you get one hundred. Okay. So for now, when so there's a hundred at it. Later there'll be a hundred. There'll be a lot of these. Okay. So oh. go ahead and color another one of these. So. You need to get these for Easter, but Easter pause, so you just have to tell your dad to get these. But I don't know how my dad got these from <laughs> not going to the store. It sounds like he's really hurt. Now slide it in your ones. Now slide and it close in your my book. ones. I slide it in my ones. We've done ordinal number practice with the bees. 
We've done cardinal number practice with the bees. We've done our handwriting card numbers one through five. Oh, oh, we were supposed to do just one and two. We should do one through five. Now we're going to do our student worksheet. One and two. Which is here. Alan, look. You get to make your own ice cream. Oh, yeah, Mom. In so Khan gonna... Academy, I made my own ice cream, too, because I got everything correct. Perfect. So you're going to cut these ice cream cones out, and then you're going to put how many ice cream scoops on this cone? One. How about on this cone? How many? Four. How about on this one? Two. How about on this one? Five. How about on this one? Three. Three. Yeah, I forgot which one I was doing. So we're going to cut it out, and then you get to glue it. So let's do that now. One for three. Five for one. They look very the yummy. Five for two. I think we need to make that sparklier so it can stay. A big surprise to Ooh, Good job, sweetheart. Does it, doesn't it look yummy? It looks so yummy. I just want to eat the paper or <laughs> like go to the ice cream shop and get all these. <laughs> yes. Do you? I do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Shuffle two sets of number card, one through five flashcards together, and lay them face down in a pile. Then you're gonna, I'm gonna do that. Then you're gonna pick up the top card, and then using the wooden blocks, you're gonna build a tower with that many blocks shown on the card. Then you're gonna keep building a new tower for each card. Okay, so let's flip a card over. Let me see. Um, oh, you three. got a three. One. So, t so build a tower using Two. three blocks, and it doesn't have to go up. It could be any kind of tower. Okay, it could even be like this. I like as long as you use three. Okay. I like towers that go up. That's like fine. A building, like Daddy's work. Okay, but remember, the more cards you get, the harder it is going to make those stand. They might fall over. Mm -hmm. They got two fours, and fours a lot. Four, two, one, three. Mama said the next is going to be one, or two, or three. Okay. Little lesson, you see it's not long. My daughter loves it, and it's fun and easy. And then after today, tomorrow, we're going to be learning numbers six through ten. One through five for her was kind of a review. Six through ten, she's a little bit more help with, so that's going to be perfect. If you're interested in a full review, check out my video on review of the Good and the Beautiful Math Level K. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.